talking about some controversial issues. We don't want you to think that we're targeting an individual uh, person of a denomination, but we're uh, just uh, making known some information that's already out there that's being uh, looked at, and uh, there's a lot of discussion surrounding it. So I want you to welcome again Andre Bellows. And uh, I'm, I'm glad that you're here. Oh, yeah. I didn't know if you are going to come back. Well, we were wondering, uh, but you are my co-host, so I, I guess you have to come back I sooner or later. I have to come back, you know. And then I want you to come back because there were some things that we, we needed to find out about this, uh, this deal with the uh, Pope. Yep. It sounded pretty intriguing, the Pope getting arrested, uh, uh, the um, Pope resigning, and uh, news about, uh, you know, allegations. And that's what they are right now. They, they say that they're allegations. And so uh, we are asking people, what do you make of this? Uh, is this meaning that the world is coming to, to an end? Uh, the, the Pope uh, hasn't stepped down for in, in centuries, since that has never happened in centuries. And uh, so what's going on, Andre? What, what's well, the new development? And can you justify some of the things that you have said? Oh, yes, I okay. can. Okay, so we're, li we're going to listen. We're going to interject some questions. We want to find out. We're very anxious to find out. All right, so the biggest thing is what I want to say thanks to is to people who invented internet. Okay, because of the internet right now, that's why this information spreads around the globe so much faster. That's why governments cannot hide the information so much because of this internet and sharing. So since since development in the last 20 years of the internet, we now got more knowledge. So before we had too many conspiracy theories because we could not connect the dots. Now there is so much enough search around the world where you can connect the dots because a lot of people have been working on certain issues. But if you learn all that knowledge, what they learn, and put them together, then you have a bigger picture. So let's talk about the, what's going on with Catholic Church and the papacy right now. Well, the, the Pope right now is resigning. Everybody thinking, oh, he's just resigned because he got a brain cancer. Wait a minute, now, this is a fact, he's resigned. Yes. Okay, yes. So, so that's not untrue. Nope, it's okay. not untrue. You're not making that one up. Nope. All right, okay. So now, when the last time we made the show, we didn't even know about the arrest of Pope at right. that moment. So, that's true. But then at the same day when we put it on, that's when it came up as news where there is an arrest. And there is actually, uh, from the International um, Court of um, State and, the, and the Religion, is they issue... Uh, on the March 4th, actually, the warrant will be issued. Right now, they have the order, what's they already guilty, and they are supposed to spend 25 years in jail for genocide in Canada of killing thousands of kids. Okay, now let me, let me say now, does this, uh, this uh, the expression, does this uh, uh, warrant have any teeth to it? Does it is it uh, really effective? Is it going to really cause the Pope to be uh, uh, put in some type of uh, uh, bondage? Uh, is this a real bona fide arrest? Well, I think some people international it not. is. It's, in the United States, it's not going to have as much bite as it's going to have in the European Union. Because that's what the whole international courts is in Brussels, and that's where they're from. So that's going to be a bigger fight there okay. than over here. In the United States, of course, the papacy or the Vatican Inc., I should say that, that's how it's called, mm -hmm. they do have a lot of uh, possessions around, and especially those possessions that dis dispersed between the few banks, which is collectively called Vatican Bank or Institute for Religious Work. And um, I'll show you just a little list over here of some of the banks, um, well, which, oh, is, while which you, I while have. you're getting that together, yeah. And uh, what, what I want to know is this, okay, you can show, give it to me and I'll put it up while you're talking. Uh, what I want to know is uh, this, okay, uh, if this happens, how, what do you think the reaction of the United States might be in all of this? Because uh, wh what I'm thinking is that if, if, this, is, if this is true, um, if this is true, uh, shouldn't they uh, be involved since they seem to be the police? Uh, They're not the, going to be involved uh, in the... Now, what, this, what will we be looking at? Uh, well, the, what we're going to be looking at is for United States to let the Vatican kind of be on its own mm -hmm. and see if they can figure, sort this out. Because I don't think there is an, even in the prophecy, if we talk about Revelation 17, at the six, I, mean, I mean, verse 16 and 17, it talks about what there should be the ten kings, which will receive the kingdom with the beast. They will be the one who will hate the whore, and they will be the one who will 
make you desolate, naked, and burn here with fire. Right. So it's going to okay. start inside the European Union. Okay. And it's going to, the beast power is going to be watching it because everybody gave the power to the beast now. Okay, so now what are we looking at now? Uh, am I holding up the right This paper? is, yeah, this is the, the list of the Vatican banks up to here. Maybe this is what it's it. made, made of. It's a Chase. No, no, yeah, I can read it. It's a Chase Manhattan Bank, Rothschilds Bank, Banker Trust and Humbros Bank, Credit Suisse, Morgan Bank, First National Bank of New York, Bank of Di Roma, Bank of Di Santo Sinto. I don't know how to read the rest of them, so I'm just going to post them and you read it for yourself um, on the screen. So this is the this is the bank. What's they originally collectively was in Vatican Bank. Okay, and uh, what that's is that's thing? that's just that's basically a, the same the okay. same things. But what it okay. shows here, it's how the these banks was established in 1600s, 1500s, and what they've done, they they caused the big collapses in different countries, mm -hmm. and they would go and merge with the with the failing banks. Okay. Okay, and then take it take them over, and then they start doing business as those banks. Wow. So now that's how, that's how we got to the pretty much to our time, where's the Goldman Sachs, the Morgan Stanley, you know, those only few banks who controls everything around this. Well, United I guess States. if you if you say they've around been the around world. since 1500, that's a long time ago. I didn't even know they had banks then. <laughs> well, yeah, they did actually. I mean, some of them was 1600s uh, made by popes, mm -hmm. you know, in their names. You know, it's it, it's it's interesting. I'm studying more and more. I just finally got the list of those banks, so I can go and pretty much right, do my well, own due diligence right. and find and connect the dots. Right. And right, right. those banks are actually right now is the one who got the tarp money. Right. Okay. They're the one who was rescued. They're the one who created the, the problem. By creating the problem, what's I mean? They manipulated LIBOR. Okay. Okay, which is pretty much the index which um, affect every single person who pays any kind of interest payments on anything. Wow, now that's 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 crazy. I know we're we're ta uh, we're uh, touching on a lot of things. We at do. Home. We need so, to talk about so it. You, you may uh, be confused at times. So, but we're going to iron all this out. We're going to uh, get it out straight for you. So just bear with us. Yep. So the LIBOR scandal was manipulated by the banks to create distress in the countries. Okay. Whereas the whole countries would start default. I mean, the, the citizens of that country would start defaulting on their loans. What they've done, they created the cre credit default swaps, on which point they are interesting for you to f default. Because if you default, they will make more money. First, they're going to steal whatever it is. If it's, a, it's, if it's a mortgage, they will steal your house, and they will also make a uh, claim to the credit default swap and receive payments from them. Now, not only do they going to get 100% uh, payments on it, if they split up the, the, I mean, the trust, into the let's say eight or different pieces mm -hmm. and sold it to eight different trusts, they will make eight a hundred percent claims on it. And believe it or not, no, it's you believe it. Type it in on the Google <laughs> search. Seventy-five trillion dollars was just uh, pushed by Bank of America to the to from one account to another from the, from derivatives to put it on a U.S taxpayers. Mm. So now we only owe $16 trillion in the whole budget. All of a sudden, you, just the Bank of America transferring $75 trillion or to their accounts, which will have to be paid by FDIC. If that's not pissing you off enough, man, then I don't know what would. This scandal of credit default swaps with LIBOR, it's mm. at least $550 trillion. It's really very, very difficult to put the how much money it is, but it's that's affect every single person. That's an money, right. Okay. It is. And that's, what, that's how they do it right now. They're trying to distress the, the governments to make them make tougher rules to collect more taxes. But in reality, they created the insurance claim, fraudulent insurance claim, and they're the one who caused the damages. Okay, so and I want you to start actually... You're trying to this back to the Pope now. Oh, that's why I want you to okay. take a look. So now, this is another... Um, should I read it? I'll just read it. Yeah, just read it, whatever is the highlighted okay, and what it was pr printed by. Okay. This was uh, Washington Post. This is Washington Post, so this is a bona fide uh, post thing. Yeah, uh, so Pope, just... Pope struggled, uh, struggled to lift sacred secrecy of Vatican finances. So what you've been saying yeah. since last week before this came to oh, yeah, exactly. uh, the Washington Post, you've been saying this. Okay, inside a 13th century monastery in a sleepy village north of Rome, 
The Reverend Salvatore Plumombo was allegedly serving more than one higher authority. Italian prosecutors say a Ferrari-driven lawyer who defrauded insurance companies used the priest as a front man with Paolumbo stashing the illicit cash inside the secretive institute for works of religion. Well, <laughs> you happy now? That's just it. Well, you, you know, well, we challenged you last time yeah, to bring well, the uh, proof, and uh, you have brought the proof. So, I mean, uh, the Washington Post is a pretty bona fide thing. Let me read this yeah, also. Go ahead. On Friday, the Pope backed a decision by... A, uh, on Friday, the Pope backed a decision by a commission of cardinals to name Ernst von Freiburg to head the Vatican Bank, the German-born lawyer and member of the ancient Knights of Malta. Oh, here we go. Was selected. Okay. <laughs> uh, Andre, I don't know where you get this stuff. It's very hard to believe, but you fit the coin, believe it or not. The Vatican say because of his vast experience, However, Italian commentators were quick to question why the choice was not left to the incoming pope. Uh, that's amazing. I got to read all of yeah. this stuff. This is, so uh, here is another uh, article okay. from all the right. nonprofit Quarterly. All right. And just read the thing and then. At the, the Vatican, thing. the most secretive nonprofit bank in the world. Now, this is someone different. Yeah. So go ahead on because the. Because the, the, the accusation was that maybe this was one. Uh, uh, website that was saying this, but no. these are bona fide people that are talking about this. It says, let me start it from the... Well, it's beginning. pretty much talks about the... Yeah, let me get that sentence. The hom homicide case remains a mystery. On the scandal front, the scandal front, the Vatican Bank was recently in the news following the arrest of an Italian priest and a Ferrari-driven lawyer who have been charged with defrauding insurance companies and using the Vatican Bank to hide the loot. That's just what you said. <laughs> so, I mean, he's been arrested. Okay. Well, it's, it's, it's nothing. Uh, all right, okay. Ernest von Freiburg, that's the name, a yep. German lawyer, member of the Knights of Malta and the founder of a family foundation, uh, Freiburg uh, Stiftung, which supports Catholic groups in Germany, Austria, and France. Wow. That's, okay, here you go next one. That, this is all amazing. Uh, you've done your homework, so I'm not going to, uh, I can't, I mean, what can, I cannot argue with CNN. Somebody said, well, if we don't see it on CNN, then it's not happening. So now I'm going to read this from uh, CNN. Uh, the Italian authorities on Friday arrested eight people in possession of an estimated, my goodness, $6 trillion in counterfeit U.S. Treasury bonds, United States Treasury bonds in uh, Italia. Uh, treasury bonds, according to Italian uh, para, uh, paramilitary police and an Italian news agency. The discovery of the fake bonds made to look as if they were printed by the United States Federal Reserve in 1934 came about as, a part, as part of an investigation into a local mafia association. <laughs> The arrest order for the alleged criminals was issued by a preliminary investiga investi investigative judge in the southern Italian city of Potenza, police noted. Italian authorities working with the Swiss counterparts learned about the counterfeit bonds by way of eavesdropping on wiretap phones, police said. The total of $6 trillion is more than twice the it Italy's national debt. The Italian news agency, man, that's a lot of money for one individual, <laughs> isn't it? The, <laughs> when you talk about a, a nation like oh, it Italy, that, that's not funny, but it's funny. The Italian news agency ANSA reported that the bonds were also discovered along copies of the Treaty of Versailles rolled inside lead cylinders. So this you, is CNN. This is CNN. So now let's summarize a little. Okay. So all of a sudden, Vatican Bank right. is involved in the insurance Ponzi scheme, mm -hmm. and the way they hide their loot, right. it says, through the Vatican Bank. So they use all these different banks, Bank of America, JP Morgan, all of those banks, right. okay? They're right. all part of the Vatican Bank. Mm -hmm. They are the one who kind of, they're not the one who did the loans. Right. They created a different mortgage companies, and mm -hmm. they loan usually to them the line of credits. So they gave them a credit, and those mortgage companies gave the loans to the people. So mm -hmm. first of all, they used borrowed money, mm -hmm. and then they did loans. Mm -hmm. Then those mortgage companies default, mm -hmm. and they go away, and the bigger banks are start swooping those banks and merging with them. 
and collecting to the, together and making claims to the insurance company since right now there is no uh, limitations during this glass act already been passed you know now the uh, insurance company and banks can be the same right so they just do an inside trading inside their own company and making insurance claims against the defaults what they cause to people and laundering money to the Vatican Wow, that, that's such a, a, a sophisticated scheme to me. I mean, but to them, it's not. I mean, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's very interesting. Well, okay, I want so you to, to read story? something which is I got from CIA. Okay, this is the CIA? So, okay. look at this date. Okay. okay. There's was a correspondent dated October 17, 2007. Is that the one you want okay, to read? Yeah. Okay. Read who participated in that. U.S. Treasury. These are the participants. Uh, U.S. Treasury, Hen uh, Henry Paulson involving mortgage reconstruction, just like you said. Uh, and the copies. 2007. Listen. The copies go to the following Pope Benedict. Oh my goodness. What is. <laughs> Pope Benedict. <laughs> that's not funny, but it is funny. Uh, 16th. Reconstructing. Restructuring. Restructuring Team Italy. Archdiocese of Detroit, Cardinal Adam. Um, Mata, George W. Bush, <laughs> President of the United States, J.P. Morgan Chase and Company, attention James uh, Diamond. Diamond, World Bank Headquarters, Paul Wolfitz, Federal Reserve Headquarters, attention Ben uh, Bernanke, International Monetary Fund, Washington, D.C., European Union Dictorate, General for Economic and Financial Affairs, Boy, wouldn't you like to be buddies with those guys? No, man, you, don't have, don't you get a lot there. of money though. Mm -mm, no. Now in Belgium, man, that, they control all the diamonds too. Uh, Brussels, mm -hmm. Belgium, in 2007, 150 billion dollars was allocated to start global structuring. A Europe, uh, European Union divided the funds between Bank of America, Citigroup, and J.P. Morgan Chase, as evidence shows the banking industry still. Collapse. So which day did, did they receive the? October 17, 2007. So when did the economy fell down? Oh, I'm 2008. Eight, right. So right. somebody sure already was. knew and was working on it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure <laughs> did. Please show these documents, both both sides. Wait, wait. Let me see something else. Uh, well, we're going to show this. Uh, I'll yeah, show I'll, this I'll post it, actually. I'll post it. Okay. A uh, correspondent dated October 19, 2007, addressed to uh, Henry Paulson, Secretary of U.S. Treasury in the United States regarding the mortgage reconstruct restructuring and J.P. Morgan Chase. No funds were ever allocated for global restructuring. <laughs> so they, they never they stole really it, yeah. Correspondence was also addressed to Pope Benedict uh, VI. Uh, that's one that's sitting yeah, there now. Yeah, bye-bye. That's yeah. why he's resigning. Okay, our... And, and our, okay. So there's a lot there's more. There's a too. lot of. You know what? The evidence is strong. Like if I'm in court, I, I don't know if this is kind of hard to. But it's some attorneys refuse. just don't want to believe it. And they're. I mean, look at this. This case can never be adjudicated by any judge who is Catholic or any other denominations which came exactly. from Catholics. Right. So now please read this document as the. Right. Because the, it would make sense because they would automatically be no, biased. It's, yes, exactly. Right. So rule. now please read the, what this Cardinal Redzinger, who is our Pope right now, said in 2000. We Catholics are the mother church and our Protestant daughters are harlots. Here you go. He said that. Yeah. I didn't. No, this one. Let me read said. that again. We well, Catholics are, I like that part. I want to read that part again. We Catholics, this is the Pope saying, we Catholics are the mother church and our Protestant daughters are harlots. Revelation 17, 5. It must always be clear when the expression sister churches is, in use, is used in this proper sense that the one holy, catholic, and apostolic universal church is not sister, but mother of all the particular churches. Cardinal Ratzinger. That's our current pope who's resigned. And he said it's on the what did say on September 5th of 2000. Yeah, on, September, on Tuesday, September 5th of 2000, the Vatican made, the, made publicly a strong word, worded document titled Dominus Issus, which uh, affirmed the long held Catholic doctrine that only the Roman Catholic Church is the true Church of Christ, except 
excerpt from Dominus Yesu. So this is this is important. So for everybody else, I'm not the one who's calling you. Well, I'm glad what you, you false churches, mm -hmm. but every single church which came from Catholics, Baptists, I mean Seventh Day Adventists, anybody, right? It's all of them. They are right now corporations. They're running the, as corporations. They mm -hmm. they are no friend of people. Period. Right. They just doctrinate you. The very, very upsetting news, what's, I mean, really started developing from 2000, is about Seventh-day Adventists. Right. Because they were the one who was given the last knowledge about the last three angel news. But all of a sudden, I noticed the books, like Great Controversies, right. start being edited. And anything was to talk about, about Catholic Church being removed. Uh -huh. Then I find out what previous, our previous uh, general conference mm -hmm. uh, director was a Jesuit. But no, so, no, so now how do you find out all this man I, I got connections <laughs> you know what i do <laughs> don't, don't i'm amazed because this is uh this is awesome this is i'm looking at this and i'm still i'm i'm also in this book believe it or not but uh it's there it's the one, real. I've, I've been saying and that for will years be posted so that people can see it because i wouldn't have believed it uh i was wondering what you were going to bring tonight and i you know i'm very convinced uh, I mean, I can't refute any of this because the man is saying in himself. Okay, but go ahead. What, what, what's... Well, the biggest thing is for us to understand what are we going to do about it? Right, okay. That's I mean, the, the people right now are like, oh, yeah, of course, no, no, the Pope is the biggest one. Well, of course, it's the biggest RICO organizations on earth. It's, why would they, I mean, you just read the correspondence about restructuring the economy around the globe, and Pope receives it, one of the first person who receives it. That's amazing. And it's, it? this information goes to Interpol. So all of a sudden, Interpol has its own people, I mean, who directly goes right away to the Pope and tell them. So no, no matter what kind of information you put it up, the Pope always knows. Right. So, so the, it's like uh, in your face anyway, because who's going to uh, bring him to adjudication? And then look at this. All the Supreme Court, just every one of them are Catholic. Is that right? So what am I supposed to tell you now? Well, sorry, you're being deceived. That's all I can say. It's nothing else I can say good to them. You should. That's amazing. The wow. history is... What, I talked to one lawyer, you know, mm -hmm. and they, he was like, man, well, we cannot just prove the prophecies, man. There is nothing you can do. I said, what do you mean? The history cannot be changed. The, whatever they happen in the history, the, whatever the show I'm making right now, it's mm -hmm. already going to be in the history in just a few minutes, you know? Right, right, as soon right. as I said it, it becomes history. Mm -hmm. yeah, I can't change what I said, and especially when it talks about somebody, like in 1812, let's say, somebody started the war. I can't change that. Right. Who financed the war? Oh, the England. Really, the England gave the money to the, to the American people. And then at the same time, England is the one who sends their ships to Louisiana to start the war. So not only do they give you Americans, you know, the money to fight, and they also create the party who you're going to fight with. So you're going to spend your money, and then either you're going to lose by the, by the war, right? or they're going to withdraw and say, well, just pay up. Right. You right. lost by default. Right. And that's what's happened in 1913 when the Federal Reserve mm -hmm. was established and wow. people had to be slaves from now on. That's what's happened in the United States right now. Every single person, they think they're free, but they're well, slaves. Now, now this, is, uh, this is real answers uh, from real people. So... But uh, you've given us a, a, a partial answer as to what uh, a, an individual, I mean, as collectively, what should we do? So now the, the, uh, the personal uh, question is, uh, what, what should an individual do after receiving this information? Uh, what do we do with this? I would first, I would stop paying any money to any, I mean, banks who participate with Vatican, period. You have to dispute every single one of the payments you make because it's all uh, subject to LIBOR scandal, which is already proven. And the banks pay, paid billions of dollars just to, as a fine just mm -hmm. to try to shut it up. But as long as we can keep talking about it, keep mm -hmm. raising this issue, mm -hmm. they can't settle anymore. Right. There is somebody going to have to be prosecuted. Okay. Well, no, the, uh, the, the question is then, uh, are all of the banks uh, vulnerable to this? I mean, since they, uh, they must somehow, they're going to probably wind up going through uh, those, those major banks. Uh, some, from, one, from one point or another, they're going to either invest in them, they're going to either uh, channel their money through them, because when you're talking in terms of billions, and that's what banks do, I don't see them sidestepping uh, you know, JP, 
Chase Morgan and I would and, start uh, with the with the credit. What do we do? Put it in our uh, pockets and well, the, yes, it's much better bank. If you put it in a glass jar, it'd be a better bank than you give it to the bank. You know. It's, yeah, I'm almost beginning to feel that way because the banks have invented ways of uh, they'll steal of, your money. They know uh, how much money you have, and they will do some right. kind of scheme the, and they'll send those the, front the, row priests to you to to come to you. That's what one of the biggest things we really need to talk about. Just right. think, they use religion to begin with, works mm -hmm. of religion. Mm -hmm. So they, they send the pastors or anybody else, mm -hmm. try to induce you or give you idea. Why don't you refinance your house? Well, all of a sudden you just heard that from the pastor, which you should refinance the effect. That was influenced by religion, not by the facts or anything else, because you had so much trust in that fake pastor, whatever it is. Right, right. Now all of a sudden he sends you to your butt, to his body, who's gonna give him some kind of cut later on, no matter what. It could be in donations to mm -hmm. the church or anything else, okay? So you go to him and you, you made the loan and all of a sudden that few years later you default on that loan and now you lost everything you invested in your house. Who are you gonna blame? Right. You gotta really, I mean, separate the religion and state. And that's what I'm trying to figure it out. How are we gonna separate that? Every transaction which was initiated by any kind of religious entity, mm -hmm. it could be a pastor, which is like, in, in, I mean, in my case, you know, I had one of the pastors approaching my wife, who was not my wife at that time, and uh, told her what he should use him because he's going to do her right and everything else. Mm -hmm. And then later on find out what he screwed up everything on mm -hmm. purpose just to make sure what he makes more money. Well, that, that's, uh, that's really uh, some... Uh, I, I don't know. That's uh, amazing uh, discoveries. Uh, that's all I can say. It's an amazing thing. Uh, they will have. Uh, I'm still almost at a loss as, uh, you know, the, the people at, on the bottom of the totem pole, the poor people, how, what, what are they supposed to do? I mean, uh, cut their cash flow. That's the only thing you can do. I mean, they are trying to steal everything. How do you cut your cash flow? Their cash flow, not your cash flow. Mm -hmm. What you do, you let's say what I've done since 2007, since mm -hmm. I found out all this information, right. the first things I did is, I mean, I send a dispute letter to every single thing I ever paid, period. It was a credit cards. Uh, okay, you're going to have to explain that one Well, too. it's under, I mean. Uh, a dispute fair, letter. What yeah, is, it's a Fair Debt Collection letter? Practicing Act. It's 16, uh, no, 15 U.S.C. 1692G is the statute okay. and right. it gives you uh the, i mean the rights for, to validate so they say you owe let's say thousand dollars well, right sh how do you know for sure since all these scandals happened oh my god how do you really know what it's a thousand dollars well if it's 999.999 you gotta be accurate especially if you trust the banks well so yeah go ahead okay. so now you send them a dispute letter saying please verify what you have mm -hmm. they will do just a goofy stuff. I mean, they'll send you some kind of piece of papers saying, oh, we verified it internally and you're supposed to pay this. So then And if people do? don't know, they'll say, oh, they just answered. What am I going to do now? Well, is it satisfactory to you or not? Mm -hmm. Did you really have the proof? What's, how did they come up with it? Mm -hmm. So what you do, you send this stuff back to them and write on that return, refuse for the cause without dishonor and send it back. Say, okay, give me more refuse, information. Well, uh, we refuse for the cause without dishonor. Now, what does that mean? Well, refusing, you pretty much refusing the, their documents okay. for the cause. Because there is an issue with you, in your head or your knowledge. Okay. okay? Without dishonor means you're not dishonoring the, the payment. Mm -hmm. You just want to find out and make sure what you're so paying they the right They things. have to validate yes. it properly. Of course, they're not doing it. Yeah. No, no, the army of be, attorneys are trying to well, what would fight be it. a validation? Or is it impossible Affidavit for them? Affidavit from uh, them. An it affidavit. would be in the validation. If somebody would come and say, uh, well, let's say if I, if I borrow money from you, mm -hmm. you know, and I would try to validate, mm -hmm. I would say, I mean, borrow from you $20, mm -hmm. you know, you would go, if we'll land up in, in court, mm -hmm. you would have to say and give the uh, affidavit of accountant or some say, well, it's Andre Bello or borrowed $20 from me. Mm -hmm. That would be in something to go by affidavit. Mm -hmm. Instead, they send you a piece of papers with no signatures on it. Mm -hmm. Unless it's an affidavit, there is no validations. But ah. if there is a valid affidavit, then you can contest. How did you know? Mm -hmm. Who were you? Were you authorized? Did you know about it? If, mm -hmm. some, if your brother will write a letter for you saying mm -hmm. an affidavit or I, you borrow from Charlie, how do you know? Mm -hmm. That's the whole thing. You know, it's, this bank, I mean, banking system right now established so they can hide stuff 
behind the corporate well, what, veil. But wouldn't the, wouldn't the court wouldn't the court uh, 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 stand behind the courts if you, if you make money? Court? Right, right. The but, judges have what it's called uh, 408k. Mm -hmm. That's like 401k, right? But it's 408k, mm -hmm. and the bankers actually they put in so much money per each case they, they bring in front of the judge. Right. So the judge always interesting in giving the ruling for the banks. Right. First of all, most of the uh, judges, what I know, they are either Jesuits, Masons, or any other associations We're with the have Masonic talk, temples. Man. <laughs> I mean, it, it's, it's, a, it's a fact, because right. I know my stuff and I know what's happening. Yeah, I know you know. Because they, they interesting in... Uh, helping banks okay and they it's been going on for years for generations and you got to understand they've been doing this scam for generations and never in their wildest dream they thought what well, we all of a sudden we're gonna figure this out because it's so complicated okay all but right. we are starting to figure it out but because our brain is is so big mm -hmm. we can see far right, right and that's one of the things which i read in the secret uh covenant of illuminaris mm -hmm. what they are afraid because they know we can see so far and the way we see far is by bible prophecy the right. bible prophecy which taught me when i was 19 years old saying was in the very end time vatican which is the whore they mm -hmm. call themselves you know the mother of the God, is well, the one who actually going to be destroyed by the new world order i have a bible here yeah point to the bible prophecy that Revelation 17. Yeah, let's, let me see what that is that you're referring to and put it up. Okay, we're going to put this up, and then this is about oh, all the time of... we have for. Uh, that's a, it's a very in-depth Bible here. Uh, Where is the ball? Oh, right there. Okay. Yeah, and then so that's the first be our last things... text here. Let me see. If, well, I'll, let me I'll see post if it... the text in the, in yeah. the video. Okay, all right. Let me, well, you won't be able to see it. Yeah, I'll post but it. But we'll, we'll get it posted. Just read it. Well, the first of all, the oh. Revelation 17, you have to understand what, who is it written by. It's mm -hmm. written by one of the seven angels who will have the wrath on, on the people already. Okay. So when these things you will see, the judgment of the whore, you okay. already know what the mm -hmm. plagues are here. Okay. They're in a very, very, I mean, various stages, mm -hmm. but they are here. Okay. So the, this is how it begins the 17, okay? okay. Then yeah, it yeah. gets to the chapter, uh, to the verse 16 yeah, and we, 17. Yeah, we, we and the ten horns which you saw upon the beast, those shall hate the whore, and shall make you desolate and naked, and shall eat your flesh and burn her with fire. For God has put into their hearts to fulfill his will, and to agree and give their kingdom into the beast, until the word of God shall be fulfilled. And the woman which you saw is the great city which reigns over the kings of the earth. I just read you documents. Where the city, what, what does it say? It A says, city? and the woman which you saw is the great city which reigns over the kings of the earth. So it's a city. It's a city. And it's, it talks about, Let it, me have that. before that, it talks about the, it sits between seven mountains, seven heads, it means mountains. So it, the, the city of seven mountains is Rome. Okay, well, so I, want will, you, I want you, before, because I know you can, you can really bring us into depth on that. I want you to uh, come back on another show because uh, we have to let people chew on this uh, that we've just discovered today. And then we're going to do some identification uh, so that we can maybe really pinpoint this person uh, on another angle from the biblical point of view. Because uh, if it's in the Bible, then that means God's justice is about to... Uh, Come well, forth. Yeah, it will. But let's point it out. While we're talking about the Bible, I want to point it out one real big thing. Bible yeah, is not have, the only about, thing. Uh, about 30 seconds. I'll okay. let you read. Bible read is the, not the book which was written by the finger of God. The only thing what's God ever written mm -hmm. was the Ten Commandments. Right. Okay. Every single book mm -hmm. was written by man. Mm -hmm. Okay. The Bible was put up in the in 19... Well, it's... Thir no, 12... 1335 mm -hmm. in Neosia, mm -hmm. there was a big conference there where they sent a bunch of bishops for almost 18 months and told them, you have to come up with a book so we can control the religions. And that's how they come up with 66 books. And they okay. left so many other books on purpose from the Bible. And then they created a tradition which people believe what the Bible is written by the, word, uh, by the finger of God. And it's tradition. It's Bible. Okay. I love the Bible. Is, I'm not going to argue about the Bible is the holy book. But it's not written by the finger of God. And it's not the only book which can give you You're knowledge. talking about the Bible as we know yes. it. 
Bible gives us knowledge in there. It says everything which we learn, we need to filter it. And the filter is in Isaiah 8.20. It says, if it doesn't speak according to the law and to the testimony, there is no light in them. Everything needs to be controlled. We're going we're gonna to really have to have you come yep. back and we're going to go into detail on that. And we're going to tie it all into what we've read today because um, we're living in a time of where uh, trust is a big word. Time is a big word. And uh, time, trust, and, and thought on these things, uh, things, uh, the, everything is happening right now. And so because trust is, uh, is very scarce and so is time, we're going to look at what the, the Bible uh, gives us thought on these themes. And I use a lot of T's. We're going to have a lot of T's when we come back. Time, thought, and trust. Okay. <laughs> We want you to think on those things while uh, you're waiting for our next show. So uh, we, we're glad that you joined us today. And as you can see, this, it takes a lot, but you must either do one or the other, believe it or not. And this is not believe it or not, this is Friends of Justice, and we're talking with a real person with a real answer, and that's Andre Bellows uh, on today. Thank you. Thank you.